it is now. Oh, now uh... <coughs> like I said, it's a ministry of reconciliation. That we can be reconciled to God. To, to be right with God is the most important thing in our lives. To, to know that we're right with God. God is holy. God is sovereign. God is majestic. God is all powerful. God is great. God is the creator. But how do you get to know God? You can't get to know God in your own strength. By nature we are children of wrath. By nature we are on the way to hell. By nature we love to sin. We love to do the wrong things. We are under the wrath of God. We are undone. We are lost. No matter what we think, we are lost. We can try and climb by secularism. We could try and climb by philosophy, by religion, by science. We could try to get to heaven by our own ability, but we cannot do it. So God did it for us. God came down and did it for us. God became a human being in Jesus Christ. And God came to die on the cross for us. And he became sin who knew no sin. When he died on that cross, he died for you and me. To be reconciled with God is the most important thing. There is enmity between Russia and America. But there is greater enmity between God and us if we are not right under the blood of Jesus. We have to be right under the blood of Jesus. We have to come to the blood. The blood will save us. Secularism will not save us. Secular morality will not save us. You can try and squeeze the Bible and say the Bible's not relevant. That its morality is outdated. And you can try and change it and squeeze it and try and push it away. But Paul says we preach Christ crucified. The message never changes. The message never changes. It's always relevant that Christ died on the cross for my sin and your sin. It's always relevant because there is a God above the nations. There is a God above your life. And he has dictated to go and preach the ministry of reconciliation. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. He commands all men to know how to get to heaven by coming to the cross. By coming to the cross, the wrath of God will crush you on the day of judgment. The wrath of God will crush you on the day of judgment. You'll be crushed under the wrath of God. But you need His blood. You need blood. You need the blood of Jesus who took your punishment. He died in your place. Can't you see that he took your wrath? He took your punishment. He became the lamb that was shed for you. He became the lamb that was sacrificed for you. He became the blood offering, the sacrifice who died in your place. Don't love sex or money or drugs or materialism. It'll take you to hell. It'll take you to hell if you double in drugs, if you double in sex, if you double in getting drunk, it'll take you to hell. Well, Christ died in your place to redeem you. Our nation is lost. Our nation is blind. Our nation doesn't know where it's going. And we need to come back to the light of the gospel. We need to come back to the light of Christ. We need him in the schools. We need him in the colleges. We need him in the universities. We need him in the drug dens. We need him in the nightclubs. We need Christ today. More than ever we have needed him. We need him more than we could ever imagine. 
all that we need in Christ is there. The ministry of reconciliation. To be right with God. Where are you going today? Are you going to hell today? Are you going to hell today? Where are you going today? Are you going to go to hell? Or are you going to go to heaven? Where are you going to go today? Are you going to continue to take drugs and go to hell? Are you going to continue to sleep around and go to hell? Are you going to continue to get drunk and go to hell? Are you going to continue to steal from the government taxes and go to hell? Or are you going to come to Christ and say, Lord, you died on the cross for me. You shed your blood for me on that cross. You gave your life for me on that cross. You shed your blood for me on that cross. What are you going to do? The wrath of God is coming upon the nation. Wrath of God is coming. Wrath of God is coming upon the nations. And it won't do you any good to stand on secularism. Secularism is sinking ground. It's sinking ground. He said, Jay, yeah, you're homophobic. You have your secularism. And I guarantee this nation is finished. I guarantee this nation is going to hell as fast as you can say, diddly squat. We need to get back to the Bible. We need to get back to the cross. We need to get back to Jesus who died on that cross for us. That's what we need as a nation. Mums and dads don't know what they're doing. Kids don't know what they're doing. The politicians don't know what they're doing. Why? Because righteousness exalts a nation and we're not righteous anymore. We're not righteous anymore. We rob, we rob from the rich. We rob from the rich and take it from. We rob from the poor and give it to the rich. We trample on the the underdog. We trample on the people who need help most of all. We trample on the homeless. We trample on those who are weak. We let the banks have the power. We let the multinationals have the power. Why? Because we threw God out. And now they can do what they want. But if there's a God, they can't do what they want. If there's a God, they have to treat the poor right. They have to treat the underdog right. But we've thrown out God. And we need to get back to God. We need to get back to Jesus. And that is our message to you. Not a message of condemnation. I've not mentioned gay and lesbian rights in this city for three weeks. Yet every time I preach, it's the gay people coming up to me and arguing with me, I've not mentioned it. I'm not here to preach a ministry of condemnation. I'm here to preach a ministry of reconciliation so that you can be reconciled to God, so that you can be right with God, have the joy and the peace and the blessings of God. When you're at a Man United match or a Man City match, you're there and you're saying, come on Man City, come on Man United, you're full of joy and blessing. I want to give you a better joy, a better blessing to be right with your God, to know that God shed his blood for you and gave his life for you on that cross. That's what he's come to give you. And you can say, Jay, we're going to change the message Jay, secularism is going to push you down. Jay, we're going to pull out the Bible and rip it up. Jay, secularism is winning, but let me tell you something. We preach Christ crucified and secularism will never win. When we're here today, the soldiers of Christ, to lift up Christ, secularism will never ever win. Because our message is powerful. It changes life. It can take a drug addict and change him. He can take a prostitute, he can change her. He can take a millionaire who's selfish and change him and make him unselfish. That is the power of the cross. And that power is there for you. You have to repent, leave the old life, turn away and come to Jesus and know that he shed his blood for you on that cross. My friends, we ain't going away. We ain't moving away. We're going to make our stand. 
and we're going to continue to preach the gospel in Manchester and around this country. And nobody, not the police, not the Prime Minister, not the gay rights movement, not Islam, nobody is ever going to stop us. We will preach the gospel until the day we die. So get used to it, folks. The gospel will be proclaimed. And we're proclaiming life to you. We're proclaiming joy to you, peace to you, hope to you, life to you. We're proclaiming reconciliation to God through Jesus Christ. So come on now, come to Jesus. Come to him while it's too late, before this nation falls apart and before you lose that chance. Come home to your God today and be reconciled to him. God bless you.